TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update with the Dow down 348. Uh, dollars at 32,925. Remember, we discussed this yesterday that this rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. It's a narrow rectangle formation straying between the 33,400 level and the 33,002. Uh, let's call it 33,000, mm, no, 32,650. And right now we're at 32,901. It can stay here for a little while. It might suddenly it'll find support at the 200 period moving average of 32,710. Looking at the S&P, we'll see if that happens. S&P right now also trading in a very narrow range. It's down 40 points at 38.12. I mean, narrow range not on the day, but in terms of the 4,100.96 double top that was made on the 13th of December before we came tumbling down. So at this particular point, I'd say 37.92 is today's support that must hold. And hopefully by the end of the day, there's a little bit of a rebound. Uh, of course, um, economic numbers coming out were a little too strong. The market didn't like that. We're looking at the QQQ. I'm looking to see the QQQ trying to find some internal support. There are some signs where both the Dow, the S&P, and the um, QQQs and the IWM are starting to see the histogram of the MACD starting to improve, but you haven't got the price improvement. That's the major thing. Qs are down 265 at 263.10. Uh, looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps, Pulling back down 220 at 173.36, must hold 165 over the next day or two. And we're looking at uh, where we're going. We're going to gold. Gold pulled back quite sharply. It's down 19 at 1839. I suspect that we are going to be having some digestive phase right now, especially as the dollar is attempting to rally. It's up about uh, 68 ticks at 104.93. Yes, it's a double bottomish type pattern, and we'll see if we can hit the 105.44 level, which is the 200 period moving average. Uh, if it can go above that, it'll be the first time it's closed. If it can close above, the first time it's closed above it since early, no since late November. Looking at the TLT, and this is really important, uh, bonds are uh, down 69 cents at 102.14. Uh, this is just saying that yields have, have come down a little bit. We'll be following this closely in crude oil. Uh, crude oil is down again. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check my opening for daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes. Very exciting start to the year. Be back 